morning. It's not morning. It is fucking 1.30. Um, and we just got ready to go to Fremont Street. Woohoo. Yay. Oh, God. We have felt better before. Yes. I've definitely felt better once in my life, but yeah. we're gonna have to deal with it. Yesterday was rather interesting. Mm -hmm. I think we told the whole story already. Yeah, but we, we ate did. we ate fancy, we got some fancy free drinks, and we saw yes, poker games. So that's basically a summary. <laughs> and tonight we're going to Zed at the Zook nightclub. Yep. And we need to be there super early because we're cheap and we don't want to pay, so we got guest lists. Um, and yeah, that's the vibe. But first, we're gonna see what the fuck's popping in Fremont Street. Oh yeah. This is Cheyenne in her natural habitat. <laughs> Pre-gaming in bed. You already know what's cracking. I got this shit right here. Tastes like ass, but it's fine. I got some wine. It looks orange. One hour later. Yay. We are um, getting ready to go to the Zook mm -hmm. Club to see Zed. Zook for Zed. Yes. We love that. And we're dressed super, super fancy schmancy. Yep. We got like black dresses on. She got her heels on. I got my slide. No, I'll, <laughs> I'll put on some shoes. I'm not wearing heels. The dress is from Nelly.com, I think. The necklace. Necklace is from Princess Polly. No, Dolls Kill. It's from Dolls Kill. Um, and that's about it. Where's your dress from? Uh, this is actually, I think, a Plato's Closet dress. Not gonna lie. Plato's Closet. I don't know what that is. But... <laughs> it's a Plato's Closet dress. Okay. And. The belt is Anne's again. Yeah, I need to find out the name. I'll put I'll put it right here. If I know the name, earrings are from H and M. Yes. Um, necklace had this on forever. Shoes again. I can't remember where I got these shoes. From. Tattoo Minnesota. Tattoo Let's go. Minnesota. <laughs> so we like all fancy. So we better don't have to wait in line for five hours because we're not dressing like fucking hookers to stand yeah. in line. No. Because a hoe does get cold. I don't know who said hoes don't get cold. We do. <laughs> yes. We do we do get cold. Very yeah. much. So yeah. Very much so. Every 
Every time I come in, then I step up in the building, then we let the fire sizzle. Hope you know we gotta run on, cause you gotta know that when we get this out, I win every run in the spot. There ain't no question that you gotta stop. And hurt him up, give it to him. Word him up, let me do him. Back another match and let it flame. You should come on. Everybody get ready, know every time I do what I do. Boss rhymes with the people wanna. Come on. Let's go, cause you know we gon' fly. Gon' fly. Get loose, everybody get, get. Now I wanna see all of my people from online. If you with me, let me see you just. Come on. With Diplo and Tiesto, we about to create a fiasco. Now get your club on, and if my people is really with me, then come on. Good morning. It's not morning, it's 3 p.m., but it's morning for us. We are getting ready to see the last hotels here. And let's talk about last night. So we went to, we took an Uber to um, the hotel with the Zook nightclub in it. Cheyenne, do you remember the name of the hotel? Uh, no I don't. I don't either. But it yeah, was inside of, the club was inside of a hotel. And we stood in line for a little bit, not that long. We finally got in. We bought a drink, a $25 oh, $25 drink. So that was the only drink we drank. But mind you, before that, we were pre-gaming. I drank an entire bottle of wine. Um, so I was, uh, I, was, I was a little tipsy. Uh, the club was amazing. It was very pretty. Um, the music was good. I did notice uh, in comparison to Europe that not a lot of people were dancing, a lot, especially like in the middle of the crowd. A lot of people were just standing. Um, well, me and Cheyenne were dancing, so that's good. But, I mean, a lot of people were just standing with their drink in their hand, not moving, which is super annoying. Um, but it was fun. The music was good. And then Zed performed. He was really good. It was fun to see. And then I got sick. Um, I don't know if it was the alcohol or uh, the desert dry air vibe, but I got a super dry throat. Um, and I got like kind of a panic attack about it because I really needed some water S And so I was saying in my head like Zed, please stop performing. Please stop performing Like I need to get out of here and if he stops performing then I have a reason to get out um, But he went on for a long time. So after a while I just told Cheyenne like yo, I'm going to the bathroom. I'm trying to get some water um, Well the water in the bathroom was hot so that didn't really help um, so I really didn't feel good. I was feeling nauseous, uh, lightheaded. Um, so I went to the bar where we spent $50 before and I asked if I could have a cup of water. They're like, no, we're closed. It was like, I didn't ask you if you were closed. I asked if I could have a cup of water and they said no. So fuck the people who work there. If, if you see that some, I was literally looking like a mess. I was about to fucking cry, stumbling. I was like, can I please have water and they tell you no? Like, what the fuck? That's fucked up. Um, so I texted Cheyenne, like, please stay here, have fun, but my ass is going home. So I was stranding through the hotel. I didn't know where the exit was. Um, it took me about 15 minutes to find the exit. Um, so that was nice too. And I had to wait for a cab because the Uber situation was horrible too. Um, so I took a cab. I was finally at the hotel. Then I had to pay and then my card wasn't fucking working. So they had to call and I had to like manually say the numbers, even though it was already fucking dying in the back of that car. But I had to like manually say like all the numbers of the card to pay, which was super annoying. And I finally got into the hotel. I was dying on this bed right here, literally having a mental breakdown, but I didn't puke. So shout out to myself. Um, Cheyenne did puke yesterday, yay. But that wasn't... Yay! Yay! That was during the day, it was not even from drinking. So that was interesting too. But um, then I fell asleep, I passed out. And after, let's see, I was here at four. Yeah, I was here at 4 a.m. Um, Cause I left at three, it took me an hour to get here. Um, so it was here at four, I passed out. After a few hours, I hear knocking on the door. I thought it was in my dream, so I didn't wake up, but then the knocking started going again. I woke up, looked next to me, and I didn't even realize Cheyenne wasn't in her bed yet. And I opened the door and it was fucking Cheyenne. 
Cheyenne, tell the people where you came from. The casino. Yeah, she stayed. So she stayed, I stayed after I left. Because like Zed still played for quite a while, and then there was uh, like two other DJs, like low key DJs that had played after that. Um, so I stayed, and then after that, these people asked if I wanted to watch um, blackjack games. So I'm like, okay. We already watched poker. Exactly, we already watched and the poker, poker game. Was Difficult. That was difficult. Um, so I'm like, fuck it. Free drinks. Why not? So, <laughs> yeah, so I watched a couple blackjack games and also got to, what do they call it? Uh, cut the deck. So I cut the deck for all these games and. You did pretty good cutting did the deck. good and. I guess I was the good luck because they did pretty well as a table. So, yeah. So that's good. And we, I walked out of the casino and it was daylight out. <laughs> I'm like, oh, good morning to you too. And normal people would have taken like an Uber or a cab. No, I walked. She walked half an hour to the hotel, which is pretty dang. She does, okay, this bitch is too scared to jaywalk. <laughs> she doesn't want to jaywalk, but she'll walk half an hour home in the middle of a city. From hotel to hotel that's dangerous and we also stayed a sketchy hotel so but hey i was passed out so i opened the door and it was her happy ass she, <laughs> you were already trying to tell me a whole story but i was kind of like out of this world still sleeping so i was like yeah um i'm going to bed back i'm going to bed. to bed i'm going back to bed but i totally forgot her uh key for the hotel wasn't working yeah and i went to try to get a new key and they wouldn't get me a new key so that was cool so I don't know what I was gonna do if I didn't pound on the wind or the door hard enough mm -hmm. and Anne didn't answer. I probably would have just sat my happy ass on the ground in front of the door until you woke up. <laughs> I had like 15 missed calls. It was um, yeah. I was... It was good that I woke up, but I totally forgot to stay like awake for her to open the door because I forgot my key. It was the only key that worked. But hey, it worked out. We slept uh, a long time. Um, yeah, long time. Yeah, it's fucking three now. We, we just got dressed, so took us a while. We're probably going to New York, New York, to the Louis Vuitton store that is across from our hotel because it's very pretty. And I'm trying to like go to the Venetian after to like have dinner under the Venetian sky. Um, and I want some pizza, so Italian restaurants probably to go for tonight. Yes. Uh, we can't make it really late tonight too because Cheyenne has a flight tomorrow at one and we've been waking up at one every day so we can't really do anything wild tonight but um we can have a wild dinner we can do that um and yeah that was the vibe of last night it was fun though until I got sick then it wasn't fun I swear to god if, if they would just give me a bottle of freaking water I would have been fine I needed some water, I needed to sit for a little bit, so I could have just sat on the toilet with my water, chill, and then I could have stayed too. Um, so fuck the bar people there, honestly, for not giving me water, that's kind of fucked up. Especially because I paid a lot of money for those drinks before, so they might as well just give me water. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, next time we'll be better, yay.
sorry for the horrible lighting again. It is 10.30 a.m. Cheyenne just left because her flight is at like 1 something. My flight is at 7 p.m. So, Jesus, why do I look like that? My flight's at 7 p.m. Um, and we have to check out at noon. So I called this morning. I was like, yo, can I get a late checkout? They are like, yeah, sure, you can check out at 1 it's like, that's an hour later. It's like, yeah, that's our late checkout. It's like, what? One hour. So I need to get out of here by one. I'm still deciding if I go directly to the airport and just chill there in a restaurant or chill here on the strip with the, uh, at a restaurant. But I don't really feel like leaving my suitcase at the front desk because the hotel's kind of sketchy. Um, right now I'm just eating Cheyenne's leftover pizza in bed, drinking some water. I'm probably just gonna chill here until 12 and then pack my suitcase and get the frick out of here. So so I'll catch you guys later. Um, yesterday we stayed at the Venetian for the longest time. We had dinner there. We did some shopping. We didn't buy anything, but there were a lot of cool stores there. Like a lot of cool stores. That's by far my favorite um, hotel in Vegas, the Venetian. It's so pretty there and the food is good. That's why I'm eating it this morning, cold, like I don't care. Uh, yeah. Vegas is almost done. I could have stayed here for another five weeks, to be honest. I really could have. But we ain't got no money for that, so...